jam out to our favorite songs. For the same reason we play scratchers from the California Lottery. Because a little play can make your day. Serena, call my insurance company. Contact Jacoby and Myers. The call is easy, the consultation is free, and they don't take any money unless they win your case. Call Jacoby and Myers. Jacoby and Myers, because everyone deserves justice. NBC4 News at 11 a.m. starts with breaking news. That breaking news coming to us from Rancho Palos Verdes. LA County Sheriff deputies are investigating a deadly double shooting. We're told a man and a woman were found just shot to death right before 7 o'clock this morning in a parking lot in a car. And so far, no details have been released about what may have led up to the shooting or the person responsible. We have a crew headed to the scene and we will bring you updates as soon as we get them. Right now, here's a live picture from the scene. As you can see, investigators there, but we'll get to that. But right now, we want to show you this controversial arrest by an L.A. County Sheriff's deputy. Video captures the encounter outside of a 7-Eleven here. This is a breaking news in Echo Park. This police chase led to a standoff outside an auto zone. LAPD says the driver of that Tesla may have stolen it. As you can see, it took nearly eight police officers to subdue and arrest him. No word yet on what charges he will face. We will bring you an update on the NBC4 News at 3 o'clock. And good morning, everyone. I'm Michelle Vias in for Michael Brownlee. The deadline has passed, but some people living at an illegal RV compound in Silmar remain. A small group says they will not leave until they're pushed out. NBC4's John Caddy's Klimak is live with more. Yeah, Michelle, what they're trying to do basically is change the judge's opinion on this to see if they could possibly and potentially still stay here. Now, what we've noticed today throughout the morning is they put up this tarp so you can't really see onto the property any longer from the street to see what exactly is happening out there. But we've been told they're trying to clean up this property in the hopes that they will be able to stay. They've already left. It's gone. It's going to be there. That's Manny Fomont. He says the owner of the property made him caretaker in the hopes of trying to bring things back to compliance under city code. He's also the man seen here, detained over the weekend for fighting with another RV tenant. He says the eviction notice on the property forced some people out, but not all, believing there's still at least 15 people living here. Jesus Guman was leaving for work this morning when he told us he's still living in his trailer and hoping to stay. Early last week, LADWP went onto the property and shut off utilities to the main house, which supplied power to the estimated 25 RVs in the yard. Then Wednesday, a judge signed the order for tenants to vacate by Sunday, yesterday. It's like bullying us. This guy says the fight is just beginning, hoping they can clean up the property to fall into compliance with city code. So we're here to clean and making sure that we pass inspection. Once the judge decides that it's sanitary again and it's livable, then they decide how many traders you can keep and leave. So for those who remain, they think they have 30 days to fall into compliance, and they believe that they've got their first inspection coming next week. Reporting live in Selmar, I'm John Candice Klimak, NBC4 News. John, thank you for that update. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department is facing more scrutiny over use of force. This time, a man claims a deputy pulled him over, apparently for no reason, and violently beat him. It was all caught on camera. NBC4's Lauren Coronado has...